up everybody welcome back to the channel a little bit of a change of pace this morning today is august 30th opening day for elk season earliest we've had in idaho in like since i've hunted so got a spot probably four and a half miles back right now just gonna get up here try to get on the ridge and get a lay of the land bring you guys along hopefully we can get in some animals So we just busted like five cows. Actually, they ran right into us. No bulls. We got one beneath the road right here, but uh, cow season isn't over yet. It, was, uh, it looks like two adults, two babies, and maybe one that was kind of in between. So we know they're in here. So, quick little update. We got some breakfast going on, some snap peas. We've seen five elk so far, all cows. Seen two deer, we don't know what they were. We spooked them pretty far away. We had it high tailed right out. They were too white tailed though. Um, so, all that's open. We just gotta get close enough to get a shot on something. So we found a wallow. Doesn't seem like it's being used a whole bunch. It doesn't like stink at all, so. I don't think there's anything used in this one at least, but it's cool that we're getting into the right areas at least. All right, guys, so we have had a hell of an opening day so far. We're up on top of the ridge. It's about noon right now. Both of us, Tevin and I, somehow pulled two different sheds out of the woods. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got mine walking in front of Mike about, what, half hour ago, 45 minutes? Yeah, so something like that. Turned around, dude. Yeah, it was crazy. Oh, my gosh. It's yeah. so nice to find these things. Seriously. So we know we're, like, pretty close to being in the right spot. They're in here somewhere. So yeah, super cool. We're stoked on it. Um, we just mowed down, so I think we're gonna start hoofing it again, heading back kind of down towards camp. Refuel down there. See what we got going on. All right, guys, we made it back to camp. Figured we'd show you what we got set up. Super basic. We're actually only staying two nights here, and then we are going to spike camp out of our backpacks. But look at the haul for today. We're stoked on it. 
And for you hunters out there, you should comment down below. I think this could be the same bull a year or two apart. These top whale tails look very similar. Let me know what you think. So we're super stoked on the sheds. That like, it really doesn't happen to us very often. Super fortunate for that. But we're gonna kind of refuel here, come up with a game plan for the evening hunt. See what we can find. All right, back at it. We had a nice little rest. Shot an arrow or three, made sure everything was good to go. About 5.30, and we're back at it. What direction? Uh, we're going that way. We're going that way. All right guys, so as you saw, we saw a bunch of muley does right here um, this evening. Um, unfortunately, in Idaho, muley doe is not in the cards um, whatsoever. So with that many does though, there's gotta be a buck or two running around in there. We're gonna head back to the same spot in the morning um, where we saw those elk and found those sheds and there's actually some water up on top. But for now, we're beat, so we're out of here. Guys, day two, a little bit of a later start this morning, but we wanted to make sure we had all our stuff. So we're going for spike camp tonight. Didn't want to forget food or anything, so heading down the same road. Let's see if we can find anything. Man, this is crazy, guys. Look at this. There's stuff everywhere. We got two wood stoves over there. It's like somebody was living up here. A bunch of plates, tarps, air mattress, tent. 
The only thing we're missing is the math. That being said, dude. You never know what you're gonna find. <laughs> so weird. This is a good spot though. It's on public land. So we're gonna pin this. I mean, there's a wood stove up here, so we might as well come back and use it at some point. It's crazy. It just makes you think, like, how the hell did they get these things in here? Camp for the night, or for the day. Right on top of this sweet ass, like, it's almost like a hayfield up in the middle of the mountains. So, super weird. Um, firing's already here. Drought's over so we can have fires. Yeah, let's get camp set up. All right, guys, while Tevin finishes up his tent, he's not much of a hammock person. I want to show you my setup over here. This is not a sponsored video or nothing. I just love this that much. So this right here, guys, is like an underquilt. It's this one Tigris brand. I'll leave a link down below. I got it on Amazon and then just a regular hammock. And this is a good sleeping bag. This is like a... I think this is a Kelty sleeping bag. Packs down really small, really light, but also really warm. But the honest trick to staying warm in the hammock is this under quilt right here. Easy setup. If you think it's gonna rain, bring a little rain fly with you and string it up over it and works good. Guys, another day in the books. Tevin saw two does, right? Two does. Yep. That was it. So, eat some dinner and back at it in the morning.
So it took all of our stuff quite a while to dry. It's still not even that warm. I mean, I would guess maybe like 60 something, low 60s, a little breezy, not super sunny. Um, but the stuff is as dry as it's gonna get for this morning. We gotta get out of here and keep working on our mission to try to find an animal. So let's do it. All right, guys, we are back at camp. We made pretty good time this morning. What did we do? Three and a half hours, how many miles, four? Uh, four and a half. So four and a half miles in three and a half hours, plus we stopped for lunch at one point, so probably three hours, four and a half miles. Pretty good clip, just over a mile an hour, one, yeah, something like that. But we're gonna head back down and kind of regroup. So this is actually gonna turn into a multi-part video. We're definitely not done up here. Um, it's only midweek right now. Um, so that means we have the rest of this week and still the rest of the season. Still super early season. Like I mentioned in the very beginning of the video, this is actually the earliest that um, elk has ever been open for us up here in the panhandle. So we're getting a really good jump on, on it. Um, even though we didn't see a ton of animals, you know, it's not super discouraging. We're definitely in the right areas. Good sign. We found both those sheds. So we know we're in a really good zone. So like I said, we're gonna head back down, refuel, keep your eyes open for part two. Thanks for watching, we'll see ya.